So mobile games are kind of bullshit, right? You know, pay to win microtransactions, time gates, energy bars, random nag screens, notifications, video ads, you know, you get the idea. There's really a lot of evil garbage going on in mobile games today. But in 2012, when you first released Path of Exile on PC, you really could have said the same thing about a lot of free-to-play games there too. So this is what it looks like. There are eight skill binds, five flasks, the same gear you'd expect to see on any Path of Exile game. One of the major benefits of this project was the tech we've developed. It's allowing us to improve our tools and engine and system across the board for all platforms. Our goal is to bring Path of Exile to mobile with absolutely zero compromise. We wanted to make something that is a real Path of Exile game. We didn't just farm it out to an external studio, it's developed entirely by a team here in New Zealand. The only thing that's fundamentally different between phone games and PC games is that you expect to play for shorter game sessions on a phone. Maps are a perfect length to have the quick turnaround time required for mobile gameplay while retaining all of the deep systems that Path of Exile players expect. Back then, we really felt like we could do free-to-play on PC without all that player-hostile stuff. So we thought, you know, maybe we can do the same thing on mobile. Maybe we can make a game that bucks all those bullshit trends and make it something that's a good game first, that just so happens to be played on the phone. 